So that was very nice of the speaker. Uh, you can still call him speaker to give me some time. I get the sense that it's going to be another, another chapter in his career. Meanwhile, you just heard from Kevin McCarthy. You heard him talk about Trump. And he says Trump is the guy. It's a done deal in 2024. Do you believe Trump's going to get the nomination? Oh, yes. Not just every Republican agrees. This is a five alarm fire. Uh, I hope that there are um, options and alternatives that reflect the important challenges that we're facing and that reflect leadership to meet those challenges. But that choice can never be Donald Trump because a vote for Donald Trump uh, may mean the last election that you ever get to vote in. People have to recognize that, that a vote for Donald Trump is a vote against the Constitution. What? The last book you ever have? So with less than a year out from the general election, what's the fate of the GOP as a party in our country? Our next guest thinks Nikki Haley is the answer. He is New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, who will not be going for another term and thought about running for president and didn't. First off, your response to Liz Cheney. Well, it'd be nice to hear from a Republican. <laughs> I mean, really, I, no, nobody really cares about what Liz, what Liz Cheney is saying. She's, um, what matters is what you're seeing on the ground. This is a, this is a race that's won by the voters. The voters are going to have their say. Everything's going to move in the next six weeks. Forty days is a long time in New Hampshire. So, um, yeah, Trump's leading. He's leading by a lot. But we've seen that before. Polls have been wrong. National polls, I get. I, I love Kevin, by the way, and I love the piece that you just did. He's, I'm a big fan. Um, but I get if you're living in California, you're seeing national polls, you think it's inevitable. But Iowa and New Hampshire are very, very different, especially New Hampshire. But if I could bring you back to what Liz yeah, Cheney sure. said, she reflects a lot of people. I know you do other networks. They think that if Trump gets in office, he's going to yeah. blow up every institution, he's going to fire everybody and refuse to leave. So what you're going to see with Nikki Haley is she's, again, that next generation of conservative, that she was the Tea Party candidate. No, but in, you do believe Carolina. that. Do you believe that Trump, Trump gets in, he will blow up no, every No, of course. No, no, okay. no, no, nothing like that. No, and, no. and again, if Trump's the nominee, but right now, it says he would win. I mean, he's probably within the margin of error. He would win. I'm behind Nikki Haley because she'd win by 17 and not just win the presidency, but carry governors, senators, congressmen. We wanted that in 2022. You need that leadership at the top to win up and down the ticket if you want to get anything done. So on the real clear average, uh, Trump is up significantly in the national polls, 60, 13 to Haley's 12 to Ramaswamy 5. Uh, when it comes to New Hampshire, hasn't been a poll in a while, but he's got a 20, uh, roughly a 20 sure. point lead. We're going to get one next week. But you looked at Nikki Haley. And you looked at DeSantis and Christie. They're all good friends of yours. All good friends. So, a so lot of what was the them. reason? Because she's, she is the most best chance or your pick? I think there's three big parts of, parts of the package. You look at the background. She's a governor, as they all are. But what she did in a turnaround, she's an accountant. She's not just some lawyer. She actually understands balancing budgets and fiscal responsibility, the opportunity that comes. The international issues. Far and away, the most qualified person internationally, and international issues matter. People are really looking at that. Her stance on Israel, Ukraine, it's unequivocal. She doesn't mince words. She's right there. Then she just connects. And in a live for your die state, we're not about big government solutions. We want to know that the individual comes first. A policy is important, of course, and she's right there on the conservative values of policy, but she connects with folks. She's earning trust, and Washington has no trust right now. So to be able to galvanize the party, the country, bring trust, and have somebody that has a record of knowing how to get stuff done with Congress, no matter what hand you're dealt. You can't, if a president doesn't get something done, you can't blame Congress for getting in your way. I don't buy it. I'm, I'm a governor. I don't blame my legislature for not letting me do something. Leadership matters. Governor, it's so interesting. The Democratic Party gave you guys the Heisman. They don't want you to be first. You're going to be first anyway. So now it's up to your resi uh, the residents of New Hampshire to register as independent, undecided, or Republican if they want to go in the Republican primary. That's right. Without a Democrat to vote for, do you think some Democrats are going to register just so they can be a part of this process? Maybe a little bit, but, but we just have a very—40 percent of our state is what we call undeclared or independent. They're going to all be voting in the, in the Republican. And a lot of those folks are hardcore conservatives. A lot of them are hardcore Trump voters, but there's a huge spectrum in there as well. If they come out in record numbers, which they will, now Nikki Haley really has a shot here. Folks are going to co coalesce around her without a doubt. She already has momentum before I got involved. Um, and then you had the, the Republican folks that start realizing, wait, this isn't inevitable? Well, I better get out there and make sure something happens. The inevitability of Trump is helping him become inevitable, right? So because people say, well, I like Nikki Haley, but I think it's going to be Trump. I'll just vote for him. The more New Hampshire kind of resets that, that 
that message, if you will, now it's it's a real opportunity. She goes into South Carolina and the rest of the and country. And you say some of the Koch brother money is going to go through an organization that is going to start infiltrating into your state. Americans for Prosperity. It's with the most conservative grassroots group uh, in the country. Um, they're 100 percent behind Nikki Haley. They're going to put the ground game. No one really has a great ground, ground game except Nikki Haley right now. The ground game in New Hampshire matters. Those are the door knockers getting on the phone. Most importantly, getting out the vote. So as Nikki raises all this money, it goes to what we call a get out the vote effort, making sure that, yeah, I, I want Want Nikki Haley to be there. Well, you got to go vote and making sure you, you push that message. Well, be, be in total candor, when you first decided, you, when you were thinking about running and everything, you didn't think that Trump had a shot after 2022. No. And you are surprised, as I am and many sure. people, that he's got such a substantial lead right now. Yeah. What happened? I mean, for well, talking been, to your yeah. dad, your family's been in politics your whole life. We've never yeah. seen anything like this. It's unbelievable. Look, he's Trump, is, you have to give him credit. He's done a great job avoiding questions, avoiding process. He does a rally. He doesn't take any questions. He gets, he when, when he, his name is said 100 times between 8 and 11 p.m. a night, and the other candidates might get one or two hits, well, right. of course, people think it's inevitable. He's the guy. But on the ground in right. Iowa, and most importantly in New Hampshire, completely different story. All right, for Saturday night, he took off his tie. He came in, gave us some, some quality studio time. Governor, thanks so much. Thank you, I look forward to staying on the scene, even though you're stepping aside. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.